Hi, I am Kalyat Valsaraj, and welcome back to my channel, Wildlife Wanderings Photography. Dawn breaks over the forest. A single feather drifts to the ground quiet, unassuming. Yet within its delicate barbs lies a story of identity journey's survival. Today, we'll read that story one tiny clue at a time. I found a feather on the ground today. It was just lying there, settled amongst the damp leaves of the forest floor. It was small. It was light. I picked it up. The feather felt soft and surprisingly strong between my fingers. It looked so simple, just a wisp of gray and white. But this single, seemingly insignificant feather is anything but simple. It can tell a big story. It's a biological postcard, sent from a bird I may never see. This one feather is a powerful key, ready to unlock a world of secrets about its owner and the life it has led. It's a perfect piece of natural engineering. Feathers hold clues. Think of them as a bird's personal diary, written in a language of structure and chemistry. Each feather has unique shapes and colors, a specific architecture of barbs and barbules. These features help us know which bird lost it. Was it a tiny wren? A majestic buzzard? A secretive tawny owl? A feather can reveal the bird species. It can give us a good idea of its age. It can even tell us if the bird was healthy or struggling. From this one small item, a whole narrative can begin to unfold. A story of survival of journeys and of life itself. Scientists call this feather forensics. So, what tools do scientists use to decode these feathery messages? It all starts with careful observation. They use powerful magnifying glasses and high-resolution microscopes. These tools let them see tiny, intricate feather parts invisible to the naked eye. Scientists study the patterns of the barbs, the tiny branches off the main shaft. They examine the barbules, the even smaller hooks that zip barbs together. The arrangement can be as unique as a fingerprint, often pointing to a single species. The investigation goes deeper than structure alone. Scientists perform chemical tests on small, carefully prepared bits of feather. These tests can reveal what the bird ate. Chemical signatures and feather keratin can show a diet of insect seeds fish. Stable isotope analysis is a clever technique. Isotope ratios act as geographic markers showing where that feather grew. That helps map migration routes and where birds spend time. Tests can also find pollutants and toxins the bird was exposed to. Heavy metals from industrial areas, pesticides from farmland can lock into growing feathers. Finding these substances reveals environmental challenges the bird faces. This info can serve as a warning system for ecosystem health. The feather becomes a silent witness, a tiny sensor reporting back from the wild. Feather Forensics combines old-fashioned observation with cutting-edge technology. It's a blend of natural history and laboratory science. From simple visual identification to complex mass spectrometry, each step adds a layer to the story. We can learn a bird species, its diet, its geographic origins. Feather clues are not just for academic interest. They help solve real and urgent problems. For instance, forensic ornithologists often use feathers to solve bird strike cases with aircraft. When a bird collides with a plane, identifying the species from feather fragments is critical. This information helps airport authorities understand which birds pose the greatest risk and allows them to implement effective management strategies, like habitat modification, to make the skies safer for both birds and people. A tiny feather fragment can prevent future accidents. Conservationists also rely heavily on feather data. Scientists once used feathers collected from the ground to track the migratory path of an endangered songbird. By analyzing the isotopes and feathers found at different locations, they pieced together the bird's incredible journey. This helped them identify key stopover sites, vital habitats that the birds needed for rest and refueling. As a result, those areas were given protected status, securing a critical link in the bird's life cycle. The silent testimony of shed feathers directly guided conservation policy and saved a species from decline. In another important case, feather tests revealed high levels of mercury pollution in songbirds living near a contaminated river. The birds were picking up the toxin from the insects they were eating. This discovery served as an alarm bell for public health officials. It showed that the pollution was moving through the food chain. 
and it led to new, stricter regulations on industrial waste. The birds, through their feathers, acted as environmental sentinels. The data they provided helped create a cleaner, safer environment for all wildlife and people. New tools are making this work even more powerful. DNA testing from feathers is becoming faster and more affordable. A single cell from the feather's quill can contain the bird's entire genetic code. This allows for precise species identification and can even reveal information about genetic diversity within a population. In the future, tiny sensors and even better chemical analysis techniques will be developed. These tools will help scientists gather data more quickly and answer new questions about bird behavior, health evolution, ultimately helping us protect our most vulnerable species. You can help with this exciting science. You don't need a lab coat or a fancy microscope. Many brilliant projects rely on people like you to be their eyes and ears on the ground. This is called citizen science, and it's incredibly valuable. If you find a feather, you can contribute. The first step is to take a clear, detailed photograph of it. Place it next to a coin for scale. Place it next to a ruler for scale. Also, make a note of exactly where and when you found it. This location and date information is just as important as the feather itself. Be careful and be ethical. This is the most important rule. You must never, ever take feathers from a living bird. Do not disturb birds on the nest. Never touch their eggs. It's also vital to follow local wildlife rules. In some countries, like the United States, it is illegal to possess the feathers of most native migratory birds without a permit. Always check the regulations in your area before you collect anything. Always wash your hands thoroughly after handling any feather, or better yet, Use gloves if you can. Here are some simple steps to follow if you find a feather and want to help. First, take a moment to look at it and enjoy its beauty. Second, take that clear photo with location and date. Third, remember the ethical rules. No taking from live birds or nests. Fourth, check your local laws. Finally, share your photograph with trusted groups online. Share on bird identification forums. Share on apps like iNaturalist. Sometimes, university or museum projects will ask the public to send in feathers. Keep an eye out for those opportunities. Feathers are truly beautiful, but they are so much more than just pretty objects. They are detailed records of avian lives. A single feather can reveal a bird's identity. A single feather can reveal a bird's health. A single feather can reveal its incredible journeys. It can point to a hidden pollution problem. It can highlight a new habitat that needs our protection. It is a key that unlocks a deeper understanding of the natural world. So next time you see a feather on your walk, stop for a moment. Hold it gently. Think about the epic story it might have to tell. With care and curiosity, your small find can contribute to big science. Look at feathers with new eyes.